Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna build a shed that I have sort second hand completely for free from Facebook Marketplace. Will this be a success or am I just getting a bunch of rotten firewood? We will soon find out. On top of that, the shed is already dismantled, all I have to do is pick it up and that's exactly where I'm going right now. Here we have it, already secured on top of my car and back home we go. Snow was quick to inspect it after I unloaded it, but before we put it back together we have to first find a good spot for it. Shed will be here in this corner and I'm gonna do a base first that will be 3x3 three three flux but first we will have to replant these so this sunflower will have to go this little plum tree will have to go lilies will be moved and there is one tiny sunflower so these four plants will have to move we will find a spot somewhere to put them on the edge and once that's gone, I can start removing the, the grass and make it flat. I have roughly marked where the base will be and I will try to get the, the base to be flushed with the grass in here. So probably we'll lay first flag here, make sure it's flushed with the grass and then we'll start laying the rest. Make sure of course they have enough space to fit. And the reason that I will start from here is because I want my lawn mover to be able to get on. I don't want it to be like a little step or a hole because then he will get stuck and I want him to get on a little bit because then the edge will be nicely cut. If I would put the shed right at the edge like here and here then he will just bump like here he will bump and he will not cut the edge so the grass will be getting taller and I would have to manually trim it. So the base is bigger than the shed of course so if I if I leave like this and the shed will start somewhere from here that should leave the bobbeck, the blown mover, enough space to get on and do the edge nice. So that's the plan. It looks like it's gonna rain anyway in about an hour. So we'll start with the grass now. So now that we have all the grass out of the way, we can start laying the flux, but it's starting to rain now, so I will leave it for tomorrow. Okay, so as I was excavating the grass, I cut the low mover cable in there first, and then I cut it here as well. So now I put a new cable in, so that's the one that goes all the way and will connect to the cut one in here in a minute. I dig a little trench in here and we'll put it inside. So normally it doesn't have to be that deep but I don't want to cut it anymore.
So the base is ready for the shed, but before we assemble the shed, I have to fix the base. There is a rotten board from the back. I will show you right here. As you can see, see that one is completely rotten. The remaining boards are fine. So this one has to be replaced. And I will give it a pressure wash as well, as once assembled. I don't want any water inside anymore. So the remaining panels are pretty good shape, doesn't need much work. All the wood, everything seems to be acceptable. It's missing a board in here, but even the roof felt is okay. I think the, the guy I was collecting it from told me roof the felt needs to be replaced but I don't think it needs to be replaced I think it's in pretty good shape anyway but I've seen couple couple of rolls on Facebook marketplace for free okay so now we're going to pressure wash this and then the fix the top board As for the replacement of the rotten wood, I am using some of my spare reclaimed wood from another project, so it did not cost me anything, but these beams that I have are a little bit thicker and I had to shave about 3-4 mm of each of them, and as I am replacing two, it did take some time to cut them to the correct thickness. And here we have the repaired base with two new beams in front and back. Shed is ready to be assembled. Assembly was pretty straightforward, so much as I completely forgot to film it. I decided to give it a fresh paint as well, and I think this one can be called a success, as this shed is solid and not going anywhere even when strong wind will come, unlike my tent which almost got blown away during a storm. Painting was also quite enjoyable, similar to laying the concrete, but after a certain amount of surface area it stops being enjoyable and starts feeling more like a chore. So this one was quite alright, I painted first panel today and the remaining three the next day. Still felt pretty enjoyable, so no complaints here. Okay, so shed is now fully painted from all sides. I also painted the gate. This one over here, it's fully painted as well from both sides. And I also installed this uh, latch on the gate, which I 3D printed on my Bamboo Lab X1C carbon. So the gate is now fully complete and that also completes the whole walkway project from the last video. 
the latch looks solid but I printed it last year 50% smaller and it broke within a week so let's see how long this one will last. And I should probably paint the fence as well, but it's just too much work for now, so all of this mess that's been here, it's going to the shed, so hopefully I can fit these two racks in there, it should be, should be perfect for the head. And this is the space inside. So yeah, the rack should fit in here. Not sure if they will fit here because it's going a little slow. Definitely they should fit in here. So maybe I can put one in here and one like against this wall and one against this window. We'll see, start moving. Okay, my open garage is finally gone and start looking a lot better now. It still has some, some flux that needs to go, some chairs and the tent, but it's already looking a lot nicer. Just need to be swept or pressure wash and look at this. <laughs> All this needs to go inside the shed. <laughs> So, but before we start that, I'm gonna clean these two racks that I have. So this one is a little bit taller, I think, than the previous, than the plastic one. This is metal, quite heavy. So just gonna give it a quick wash. This one is pretty light, and this one is a little bit less taller than that one so this one will fit definitely this one will fit as well but probably on the taller side of the shed okay i'm gonna wash these two and we'll try to pack everything in so i managed to fit both of them in it took a little bit of maneuvering but the years of playing tetris on Game Boy uh, really paid off this time so the big one i didn't put the top shelf on it because the beam in the middle but it would be kind of useless anyway so i i went without the top shelf and the taller one fit perfectly it was a little bit little bit problematic to lift it up since there was not really space but uh, i managed so now all there is left to do is to move the stuff from outside to inside but before we do that i almost forgot i have a couple of wheels behind the black car so we need to clean them first and get them ready for storage but i wanted to show you here something that these wheels been sitting there for about a year or two and look at this one there is like a tree that started growing through the <laughs> wheel it's about time i remove them and put them to storage And with everything successfully moved inside, I call this little shed project finished for now. But so glad I finally got rid of that open shelving outside as it did not look very nice at all. Now that everything has its place inside a newly built shelf, I can move on to some other stuff that needs doing. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!